Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And citations to the elect scattered throughout the four winds of the earth that believe sincerely in Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. All right, and um, what I want to get to into today is um, he came. You know, roughly paraphrase. You know, I wanna, you know, just uh, right now, I don't really have a title for this lesson, but um, you know, I was meditating <clears throat> earlier about how the Lord came for sinners. Um, you know, I was reading uh, Luke eighteen, Luke nineteen, and um, you know, the Lord when he when he when he went into their when he went into the parables and when he went into his uh, ministry, okay, there was an example. The Lord gave gave us examples of, uh, you know, um, being gracious and having compassion on his people. And that's how we are. Uh, that's how we ought to be. All right. By being his disciples who the Lord sent up, sent out. Okay. We, we, we ought to be like a, uh, like our Lord, man. Okay. By taking heed to his examples that he left. Okay. That, 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 that's written in the book. This is Luke 18 and um, nine. It says, and he spake this parable unto certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Two men went up into the temple to pray, the one a Pharisee and the other a publican. A publican is a tax collector. It says the Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself. God, I thank thee that I am not as other men are extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican. I fast twice in week. I give tithes of all that I possess. And the publican standing afar off would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smote upon his breast saying, God, be merciful unto me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone that exalteth himself should be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. Okay, and I was watching the uh, uh, those brothers out there in West Palm Beach. All right, um, GMS uh, West Palm. Okay, uh, and I got the picture up on the screen. Okay, those brothers out of uh, West Palm Beach, man. GMS West Palm Beach. G the the, the um, Lord willing, I'll put the, that video in the description box, man. Okay, about the brother who came up. And, um, you know, he hugged the brother, Yeshia, and said, um, you know, he was screaming the name Yahweh Shah, man. Okay, and th those are the type of things that Yahweh Shah, he had compassion uh, amongst his people as he was healing them. And those, those, th those are the type of people that are going to be saved. All the elect are not going to know the breakdowns. They're not going to know what the beast is. There are people that's literally going to be saved that don't know any breakdowns, but just believe. And the Lord is going to save them. Now, I'm not saying that this brother is going to be saved, but this we can take from 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 this. OK, and you should watch the video. We could take from the brother coming up. Because there are people that are, going to, that are going to be coming up to, to, to the men of the Lord and, and they're just going to believe on the words of Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shah. You know, so uh, th those, are, those are going to be his sheep, man. Those are going to be the men, women, and children that just believe off of faith. Because faith is what's going to get you delivered. Not being a, a Mr. Goody Two Shoes, man. Not knowing the break, all the breakdowns and the history and the mysteries of the kingdom. You, that's not going to get you delivered. What good is that if you don't have faith? But, you know, that, that, that story, you know, it, it touched me because that's literally the law was amongst people like this when he was on planet Earth, man. All right, let me get another one. Mark 2, verse 15. It says, um, And it came to pass 
that as Yahweh Shai said at meat in his house. Many, many publicans and sinners sat also together with Yahweh Shai and his disciples. For there were many, and they followed him. Because the, the, the wicked Pharisees and Sadducees, they were following Yahweh Shai around, man. All right, they were spying him out, you know, trying to trap him up in his words. They were evil, wicked men. And they're back here on the planet Earth now. Verse 16, and when the, when the scribes and Pharisees saw him eat with the publicans and sinners. Okay, Yahweh Shah was among these type of peoples, man. All right, Yahweh Shah is the physician, man. He's the physician. He's going to cut off the long disease that we've all been longing to get rid of, which is what? The flesh. The flesh is wicked, man. What does scripture say? The, the, the spirit is indeed willing, but the flesh, you know, is, is weak. The, the, the spirit warring against the flesh, the flesh warring against the spirit. So we're all fucked up, man. Ain't nobody going to be squeaky clean getting out of here. Nobody until we're changed. We need to be changed. That's why Yahweh Shah is coming back, man. Well, one of the reasons why nobody is all squeaky clean. All right. Um, it says, they said unto his disciples, how is that? He eateth and drinketh with publicans and sinners because these men, they were, they were, they thought of themselves that see outwardly they were, they appeared righteous, but inwardly, inwardly, and Yahweh Shah knew that they were wicked. That's why they hated Yahweh Shah because they could fool men. Yahweh Shah wasn't a normal man. They were fooling the the, the rest of the, the the people. See, Yahweh Shah actually knew what those men were doing, and they despised Yahweh Shah for that. How was that he eateth and drinketh with publicans and sinners? When Yahweh Shah heard it, he said unto them, They that are whole have no need of a physician. See, Yahweh Shah said he's the physician, man. He's coming to heal us. And and they're and the, the elect are gonna come up. They're gonna look different. They're gonna be, they're gonna whores, harlots, they're gonna repent. Gang bankers, drug dealers. You know, might see bums, what we call bums, the homeless, poor. They're going to repent. This are, these are the times that people are going to come up and, and they're just going to repent, man. Now, they might not come out to camp every week. All right, they're going to be they're going to they're going to be healed by the words of Yahweh while Yahweh shot that we're speaking out of the Bible. They that are whole need have, have no need of a physician. But they that are sick, and we're sick, man. I don't know about you, brothers, but I'm sick. I need, I need, I need, I need a physician, man. I need Yahweh Shah to come back. I need to be changed. I need to be changed. I need a physician. I need Yahweh Shah. I am fucked up. We need to get out of these bodies, man. And the scriptures also say all your righteousness are as filthy rags. We don't, we don't. The only righteousness we got is our faith, man. And the faith that we were giving, the faith that we were given, Ephesians two and eight was a gift. So you really don't have anything, man. We're we're nothing without our power. So really, you ain't got nothing. The faith you were given all the tools, you were given everything was a gift. So what do you really have? You know, I mean, yes, we're going to be justified by our faith. That's why the Lord said when he come back, shall I find faith on the earth? Faith, faith. And there are going to be people that are going to come up and be just off of faith. They're going to believe and they're going to be saved. And it ain't about us. This ain't our show, man. We're just servants. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Sinners, man, sinners. 
All right, the sinners, man. Let me get uh Luke fifteen and uh four. It says, "What man?" I'm gonna start at verse three. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna start at uh one. Luke fifteen and one. Then drew near unto him all the publicans and sinners for for to hear him, and the Pharisees and scribes murmured. Saying, this man receiveth sinners and eateth with them. And he spake this parable unto them. See, they, the, the, the scribes, and the, they had a problem with Yahweh Shah talking to, 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 to the publicans and sinners. They had a, a problem with that. And themselves, they were wicked as hell. They were wicked. These men that were murmuring under their breaths, inwardly, they were wicked as hell. Hypocrites faking it, being actors. Had garments on, sat in Moses' seat, in a, in, a, in a position of authority, but they were wicked as hell. And the, and the Pharisees and scribes murmured, saying, "This man receiveth sinners and eateth with them." And he spake this parable unto them: What man of you, having a hundred sheep, if he loses one of them, doth not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness and go after that which is lost until he find it? And when he had found it, he laid it on his shoulders, rejoicing. When he cometh, and when he cometh home, he calleth together his friends and neighbors, saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. I say unto you, that the likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth, more than over ninety and nine just persons which need no repentance. Repentance. All right. So that's the us being the men of the Lord, being the heralds of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah. What, what, what do we tell our people, man? We tell our people to repent. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right? That, that, that's our duty, man. To tell the people that, that, that their master, their Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, he's coming. All right? But um, you know, Lord willing, I remember to put the uh, you know, this um the video. Of uh, those brothers um, in West Palm Beach, man, you know, because there are the in the end times, man, that we the times that we are now, you know, things like this are going to happen. All right. But um, Lord willing, this video was edifying to the next one. Shalom.